Hello everybody and welcome to the official Fix Me IT channel. In this video I will show you how to configure a remote computer for unattended access using Fix Me IT remote desktop application. In fact there are two different ways to do that. So let's walk through the first option step by step. In order to set up unattended access, first of all you'll need to connect to the client, start a new session, Enter the client ID provided by the remote user, and click connect. Once connected, you will need to send a request for unattended access setup. In the setup unattended access form that appears, enter a name for the unattended machine, and optionally, provide a computer group you'd like to add it to. Besides that, you can also request Windows login credentials, which will allow you to quickly and easily start a new unattended session whenever needed without being prompted for the client's Windows credentials each time. Click Request, and then Setup. Now let's see what's happening on the remote desktop. The remote user can see the unattended access setup prompt, which indicates who has sent the request and what privileges the expert will have as soon as they're given permission to connect. Besides that, the client can enter their Windows login credentials. If the client accepts the request, unattended access will be configured on their computer, and a corresponding icon will appear in the Windows system tray. Now let's get back to the expert application interface to see what we have there. After unattended access setup is complete, you will see a corresponding message in your chat panel, and there will be a new listing in your unattended client list. Here you can view the current status of the unattended computer, connect to it, edit the listing, change the unattended computer's name or group, etc. The second option to set up unattended access is by simply running an installer file. Go to My Account, the download section, where you can download the unattended access setup file for your account. You can then send this file to your client in a way of your choice. Download and save it onto a USB flash drive, or just copy the link to the file and send it to the remote user as a URL. Either way, the remote user will receive the file that's always ready to be installed and just needs to be clicked on. Now let's move on to the remote desktop. Having received the file from the expert, the remote user just needs to run the program. At this point, the client might get a UAC request that they need to accept. Procedure that follows will be carried out automatically. They will just get a notification indicating that the unattended access setup is completed. This means that the remote computer can now be accessed without the user's presence or involvement. Let's see what's changed in the expert application. After unattended access setup is complete, the expert can now see a new listing in the unattended client list. Note that the remote user's name automatically corresponds with the system name of their computer. You can easily change that by providing the name of your choice. Here you can also view other key information, such as the name of the logged in Windows user, whether there has been any recent activity on the remote machine, current status of the machine, and when the unattended machine was set up and last accessed by the expert. Let's go ahead and connect to the new unattended client. Once the connection has been established, all you need to do is select the remote desktop control or any other available operation. You can start working with this computer without the remote user's presence. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more product demos and how to's.